in a matter of hours, prosecutors will tell a jury why they think A.J. Armstrong shot and killed his parents seven years ago. Well, the defense will work to prove why it was someone else. It is Armstrong's third capital murder trial after the first two ended in mistrials in 2019 and 2022. Armstrong was charged with killing his mother and father, Antonio and Don Armstrong, uh, when he was 16 years old. Our Courtney Fisher is the only reporter in Houston who has covered this crime from crime scene all the way to the courtroom. She is joining us live this morning from outside the courthouse. And Courtney, this shall be a long day and boy, the first of a few long days. Yeah, exactly. You said it, Samika. You know, I've been with AJ Armstrong through those first two trials. Was there the morning he was arrested on Palmetto Street seven years ago, believe it or not. And, you know, I got to say, the feeling this morning is different, right? The tone is different because I think a lot of people think this is it. This is the third time an unprecedented third capital murder trial. No doubt the defense and the prosecution have to put everything on the table. Something we want to update you on with what's going on in the case this morning. We can confirm from multiple sources close to the case that one of the jurors is out due to scheduling issues, which means one of the four alternates will move up. The breakdown still six men, six women on the jury, ranging in age from 26 to 65. And you remember the jury was picked about eight weeks ago after three weeks of grueling one on one interviews. And then we had this two month delay before the start of trial. So the reason? What's likely blood was found on Armstrong's shirt he was wearing the morning he was charged with killing his parents. We'll hear from experts about whose blood that's believed to be, and we'll see how it makes a difference in trial three. Now, heads up, we will not be able to shoot any video of what happens in court this time around. So very different from the first two trials, if you've been following along. We do have a sketch artist today and throughout trial. We're going to see A.J. Armstrong, of course, as he arrives at court plus prosecutors, but under the judge's strict media rules, we will not be able to record any of today's opening statements. So that's a little bit of what you can expect today. Something else, if you want to catch up on the case, if you've heard it, about it, seen it in social media, you can do that. Samika and I actually dived in, dove in, excuse me, to a really in-depth look at what was going on. The reporter's notebook, a little bit behind the scenes, very casual. That is on tonight on ABC 13. You can stream it. It's also online. Samika, I know you had a lot of great questions oh, about yeah. the case there. Look, and, and as we talked about in our reporter notebook, all eyes on this nationally and internationally, really, Courtney. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, we know that there are going to be crews from not just Houston, but other parts of the country here today for trial three. We'll be watching as well. We certainly appreciate it and thank you so much.